Hey guys, this is uh, Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures. Uh, thanks for watching. If this is your first time to the channel, uh, please subscribe. We appreciate your comments, likes, uh, share this with some friends if you get something out of it. Today we're gonna go over something we're just recently adding to the Jeep today. So we purchased a Geyser Systems hot portable shower system. The purpose of this is to help us stay clean at camp. Um, so if this is something you're interested in, uh, please stick around for the video. We're gonna open it up and kind of show you how it works. All right, so this is a hot clean, as it says, off the grid, um, hot portable shower system. What it uses is a little bit less than a gallon of water. Uh, this thing comes in two models. It comes where you can heat the water and put it in it. And it's got a little 12 volt pump that makes it work. Um, and then the system we got is the one that has a heater in it um, to heat the water for you. Either way, it's a 12 volt system, plugs right into a cigarette lighter. Um, and then we got a couple of these uh, replacement sponges so that I have one, Emily has one, and then we have a third one that's inside the box that came with it um, that we're gonna use for dishes. So inside the box you have the system. And you can see on top, this one is the 12 volt uh, power system and then it has the port right here for the hose. Comes with a sponge and then two pieces. It's a pretty simple operation. The hose clicks right in. This part has a, a, a valve to be able to turn it on and off. Now they do say that this is a part that kind of breaks easily, so it may be of your best interest if you get one of these systems to get you an extra one. You have the sponge itself, and it's got kind of like a rough scrubbing surface on one side and then a smoother surface sponge like we're normally used to on the other side. And then this just pushes in. And uh, there you go. The last piece is, the 12 volt plug, like I said, it comes with uh, just a normal uh, car plug. This plugs in the back. And then just so you guys can see how it works, this is the container vessel that you pour the water in. So we're just gonna fill this up from our onboard uh, water. Put the cap back on. We're not gonna fill it up all the way. You have a rocker switch where you have off, heat, and then you can turn the pump on. So we're gonna leave it off. We're gonna plug the cord in to our socket that we have in the back of the Jeep. And then we're not gonna connect it to the sponge, but I'm just gonna show you how much water comes out of it. And so we have the valve off, and that way you can meter kind of how it goes. And it gives you a pretty good stream. So that's really uh, the geyser system in a nutshell. Now you can use the system to heat the water up, and it's got indicator lights that allow you, tell you when the water is at the temperature that you want it to be. Um, it uses less than a gallon of water, or you can heat the water like on a fire or something like that, pour it in there to speed up the heating process. And then that heating element will do it fast enough for you to kind of maintain a little camp shower or to wash your dishes. So we're really excited about it. Um, it's like we're getting ready to go to Colorado for two weeks and we're gonna be on the road the whole time. The goal is to stay on in national park or state park land or in BLM land while we're out there and not go to any campgrounds. Um, so this is really gonna come in handy. Uh, we'll see how it does with cleaning the dishes too. So that's why we got the uh, extra sponges one for me, one for her, and then one for the dishes. So hope you guys got something out of the video. Hope you like the product. We're gonna do a full in-depth review once we use it. Um, like I said, we're getting ready to go in a few days and they have great reviews. Um, you can see them on just about every of the Overland Expo channels. You get one or two models, either the one we picked that has the heater in it or one that is just a vessel that you put hot water in, um, runs off of 12 volts. I think it's gonna be a great addition to our camp setup. You, once we get back from Colorado, I'll let you know how it worked out while we were on the road. So hope you guys got something from the video. If you did, please like, uh, share, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, 
uh, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. This is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and we'll see you on the trail.